Hello, my little munchkins, and welcome to today's video. Today, I'm going to give you the top 10 endo remedies that works, that are proven to work only if you stick to them. So we are going straight from number 10, which are the herbal teas. They have a soothing and comforting um, properties, especially during the flare-ups. They also are very highly anti-inflammatory and which uh, teas are the best for the endogels? Chamomile tea, ginger tea, turmeric tea, and the green tea. They are also helping with relaxation and the stress reduction and have a lot of antioxidant uh, uh, properties that support protect the body cells from damage. They are also good for detoxification. Um, dandelion root or nettle tea supports liver function and hormone metabolism, which is so uh, important for endo girls because the liver is processing uh, excess estrogen and as girls, endo girls have too high estrogen. So it's very important to um, take care of our hormones and make sure they are balanced. So number nine, we have the heat therapy. So they are our favorite uh, heating pads, hot water bottles. Uh, they are relaxing the muscles and they are reducing the pain and they promote the blood flow to the pelvic area, which is very, very good as well. Then we've got the most important endo diet changes. I can't say how important is that because it literally affects everything from your biotic to the hormonal level, to the metabolism, to uh, endo belly, to uh, pain. It's literally essential. Then talking about the essentials, we've got essential oils uh, that can uh, be used in multiple ways. You can do them, you can uh, spray them as a you know, uh, before going to bed, before going to sleep. You can use them in uh, your cosmetics. You can use them in the candles. There are so many ways, you know, uh, as the massage oils as well. I'm using a cleaning product based on essential oils at the moment. Uh, the best ones are lavender, peppermint, um, basically all the aromatherapy, which I always good. Another thing is the exercise and the movement. Why is that important? Because uh, it prevents you from bloating. Although exercise must be the might be the all the, the last thing in your mind when you're feeling bloated, but believe me, it really really helps. To, you know, you're stretching the muscles. You are making sure that it's um, enough space for all the organs to uh, stretch and work perfectly. It also helps with relaxation, with back pain, so exercise always. Then we have uh, mind and body practices, which is medi meditation, deep breathing, mindfulness, visualization, because guys, healing happens in many levels. You have to connect the body and you have to connect the mind and only then you experience the real healing. You cannot have a healing without one without another. So uh, full mind-body practices always. And then we've got omega-3 fatty acids, which are so important. They are uh, called the good fats. And you can find them in salmon, flax seeds, chia seeds, nuts, um, all the fishes, avocados, olive oils, all that uh, omega-3 fatty acids. Then we have the stress management, so important also, because the, the more you're stressed, uh, the more your body is into fight and flight mode. That means it cannot switch into healing because to heal, you have to be out of this survival mode. You have to give your body good um, opportunities to heal. So stress is so, so, so important. Uh, fighting with the stress is so important. This one connects with uh, self-care and uh, sleep. Uh, healing is happening in the deep sleep level. So the good sleep hygiene is here essential. 
That means no disturption from your phones. Basically, uh, start preparing your body half an hour before going to bed that you are going to sleep and sleep ideally eight hours a day. Then we have the pelvic floor exercises that are also uh, helping you to strengthen the muscles as well as uh, relieving the tensions uh, that is associated with uh, endometriosis and help improve pelvic stability and reduce the pain. Remember, all this happens only when you stay consistent. So you can't uh, take it as a, something that you're going to do just once. You have to stay consistent. And remember, perfect is uh, progress is not perfection. There is nothing called perfection. There is no perfect people. <laughs> there is only people in progress. We are all work in progress. So if you skip the day, if you skip three days, if you even skip a week, come back to it. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. You know, consistency matter and how quickly you bounce back. This is all what matters. So blast off. This is the 10 or maybe even 12 uh, top and the remedies that actually work. I hope this video was helpful. Share it with others and subscribe and stay in this channel because the new amazing videos are coming your way. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon. Bye.